Damn. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh, all right, so if you can tell, I'm extremely excited. Like, that's, that's official right here. Yeah, I just don't know how happy I am. Man, thank you, baby. Oh my gosh. That's, mm, I can't even say nothing. Now it comes in raw steel. Um, the Gravel Empire logo. This is the kickback uh, logo. Oh, that's taped on there. Y'all stay tuned. Wow, it's a moon, bitch. So I, I guess you can't, they couldn't make those letters, so they had to cut it out and put it, insert it, just to give it that definition of the look. Wow. All right, man, shout out to my girl, man, for making this happen, oh my God. I know y'all don't see her on the channel, but y'all will eventually, she'll come around. But man, if I ain't got the best girl, I don't know what to say. All right guys, so I'm in the midst of trying to figure out how I want to get it finished, whether I need to wrap it or polish it myself. This is a little test sample. Um, me just polishing a little bit, just to see how, how much work is needed to get it polished out to a mirror finish and how much of the flaws am I gonna see. And this is just a back plate to the LED. Um, so we will see, I'm definitely gonna upgrade the LED that's in it. Uh, but we'll see. Um, I'm on the fence of getting it powdered. I know I want parts of it black. I don't know how intricate I want it to be, or if I could just go ahead and wrap the whole thing chrome, and then the parts I want black, just wrap it black, and it'll be done deal, and probably takes less than an hour or so. But yeah, so this is the process. Uh, I'm trying to, I got seven days to get it right before the show and installed. And I uh, think we're gonna get it done. So y'all stay tuned. Bow, some little bitch. All right guys, so welcome back to the channel. I uh, really want y'all to see what's going on today. Got a personal invitation to an airstrip and we're about to do a photo shoot or something. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but y'all stay tuned. Bow, some little bitch. All right, guys, so we are out here. I'm parked next to this Rolls Royce. Fun fact, did you know this, the tires on here is bulletproof? They're $10,000 for a set. This whole car is bulletproof. There, shooting at Mach, Mach 1. 
Got a bunch of nice whips out here. So they starting to shoot now. They got a model over there. If you can see it. But damn, check out that bike. You ain't gotta go nowhere. What's your name, bro? Clay. Clay. Yeah, so he got this S10. So we got a truck. I got a truck channel, that's why. Yeah, it only makes sense. Yes, <laughs> but I mean, this shit's pretty clean. Black, simple, a little accent of red. Same thing I implemented in my truck. Got, and you just paint relief the, is that, oh yeah. It came like that? What all you got done to it? I see you got the side blow up. Blow, side AC exhaust, headers, yeah, that's about it. Dude. Ain't got into making it fast yet. The head, you got headers, right? The headers, it's, it's still a little too far too. Oh, yeah. Right. You got the Magoy's lowering kit. Yeah. How does that ride? Right, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna ride that. They like the top brand for lowering. So he's thinking about getting a lifted truck. I told him just hop on in, cause I tell everybody that hop on in, start it up and get a feel for what it feel like. Uh, I ain't gonna let him drive cause I don't let nobody drive it. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's leaning towards that way, away from the lower truck. Well, he's gonna keep his, his S10, but he's really considering this. He's been debating about a Camaro and a truck. And if he get a truck, he'll probably see him on the channel a lot more often. <laughs> We're gonna get him up there. <laughs> yeah, out here. So they got it paired up with my boy Clay. Just met him today. My first models. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, ladies. Oh. What's your IG, man? Yo, follow me, Zara Sinclair, on Instagram underscore nb dot z. Yes, sir. At K1 S W A H. Big body. Big body. <laughs> How y'all feel about the truck? For sure. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. This is the hardest. We in there? Hold up, hold up. When it up and up, <laughs> and you do it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. We in there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, this, this is my favorite car here. That is my favorite. This is my favorite, this is my favorite. Okay. right here. Awesome. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> oh, Appreciate y'all. This car right here caught my attention from the jump when it pulled in. Um, it's a Mitsubishi. What is it? Eclipse? Oh, uh, yeah, it is an Eclipse. Um, uh, the car is clean. The wing don't do it for me. Everything else, I mean, that deep ass dish, these like 14 wide. Shit. Everything, this car is clean. I've never been a fan of Eclipse, but this one done it. So I know we are predominantly a truck channel, but my guys are import guys and seems like just Atlanta is just a versatile city where you got all kinds of clubs, all kinds of vehicles, the tuners, the, you know, the high-end shit, as you can see the uh, ghost back there or whatever it is, the phantom. 
You got this super. Ooh. So we've been around imports and stuff my whole life. I mean, I've always been a truck guy or a big body SUV. Well, GM in general. Just loving it. Wow. All right, so we're here. I'm pretty tired. Uh, only got like three hours of sleep, which is, I haven't done that in a while, I guess. But I'm next in line to get shot. Uh, we did a video uh, with the models. I think we're about to do the photo shoot, which they're doing over there. Uh, if you can see, um, doing a photo shoot over there with the models. So y'all stay tuned. Now we got the photo shoot going on. Man, that's a good shot too. Yeah, she's feeling herself. Thank you. <laughs> so you see we're putting in that work. I got Drew on a uh, set while I'm sanding off the curb rashes. Uh, just doing it to see if we're going to further, uh, I guess, this little business or whatever we got going on. So, yeah. All right, so I sanded some of this curb rash already. As you can see, it's pretty bad. I just did a 400 grit. Um, here's the bottom part. Basically gonna sand it down with an orbital and get it the best we can. These are 26 by 16s. As you can see, not really any lip protection. A little stretch. These are 1550s, Venom Powers. They look good, but this is the price you pay. This is what somebody else did, and it's oxidized on top of that, but you can clearly see. Well, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a lot of grainage. And this is one more step before the final polish. Looks real good. For them cops shutting down. Yeah. They complaining. We got the wheels polished real good. He's happy. And if you run in uh, Ford's aluminum wheels, you need to make sure that the people that you let wash your cars or detail them, they put no chemicals on the wheels because it will cause you to call us. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I always recommend only soap and water. Um, a lot of people like to use the, a lot of detailers use that, uh, What's that thing called? It's acidic, but it takes, it removes the brake dust. Uh, that's, if it's got a lot of acid in it and it sit too long, it will burn your wheels. And that's something that he had to deal with. Somebody buffed it out and they didn't even do a good job buffing it. So y'all make sure y'all take care and make sure you know your detailers, uh, make sure they ain't using no anything acidic. Uh, make sure everything's water-based and you should be good to go. If not, just call me. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and bow. Catch y'all on the next one. Simona, bitch. <laughs>